Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I have an absolute hatred for these solder suckers. They suck everything except solder. So I decided that I was going to spend some real money and buy one of the fancy Hakko 301 desoldering guns. And I was super excited until I got the message that it was lost and I was not going to get it in the mail. And so I thought to myself, what if I could come up with something that was 25% as good as the Hakko for less than the $20 cost of a single Hakko tip? Well, that's exactly what I did. Introducing the Hakko Don't Sue Me 404. As I began building this, I was thinking, you know what the desoldering industry really needs? Excitement. You know, you get one of these things, there's not very much excitement, it doesn't suck any solder. You get the fancy Hakko and it's not a whole lot of excitement, it just works. But with this thing, you have the risk of third degree burns. What I did was took your typical 35, 40 watt, $5 soldering iron and removed the tip. And in its place, I got one of these brass tees that have quarter inch barbs on all three ends. Now, that did not fit in the soldering iron by default. So I took my little Dremel type tool and just filed the burrs off of one side and dipped this thing in some of the tip conditioner. And voila, we have the Hakko Don't Sue Me 404. And the way this thing works is just like any other desoldering iron with one exception, it blows. And so what you do is you desolder as you normally would, you heat the thing up, and then you are going to put the air fitting inside the side and put about 100 PSI of air to blow the solder through the other side of the iron. Let's give it a whirl. So just like any other desoldering operation, sometimes it's easier to put just a little bit of solder on the old joint, and then we're going to heat it up and let's get that solder flowing nice and well so we're gonna we're gonna heat that joint up and then i didn't want to leave the air connected permanently but uh we're going to go ahead and attach the air and then ready three two one and you can see we have a nice neat desolder no spatter no problems and you can simply take the little part and pull it right out as if you were using the fancy Hakko, no muss, no fuss, clean extraction. So there you have it. This is a DIY desoldering iron made 100% out of spare parts from my shop. Now I can't stress enough that you should not do this at home. I wore a complete face shield when I was blasting the air on the molten solder, but it is a dangerous proposition. I do not suggest you make it. Hope you had a good time watching though. Have a great day.